Hello and welcome back, and before I forget, I need to set my timer. One second. I really should have done this before starting. Timer. There we go. Alright, that is done. Back to the game. Alright, welcome back. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, last we left off, I believe we were going to go to the geothermal plant, so let's do that. Alright. Yeah, we should have already cleared the one over here, yep. Yeah. Let's see. Kinda want. Hang on. There is that. <clears throat> That's a decent um, uh, weapon for auto mechanicals, being that it's shock based. Yeah, that's the one I want. There we go. But didn't I? Yeah. Okay. For some reason, I was expecting there to be a, uh, a symbol showing that it was shock damage on the over where the ammo counter is, but it's not. But it is shock damage, so that's what's important. Definitely liking that. You know what? Get rid of those. Oh, why didn't it? I would have expected it to blow up both of them. That's why I started reloading immediately. All right. Oh we got? Okay. By the way, there are multiple ways into this uh, camp. There's, um, let's see, where was it? Yeah, right there. There's a, uh, where you can claw crawl in, where they've dug underneath the uh, thing. I've also had people, I've seen people jump over, I think over there, I think. Excuse me. And we're back to where we came in. Okay. Right. We go in here. One moment. Sorry, I forgot to set my phone on silent. And that was not an important text, so back to the game after I set this phone on silent so I don't get that again. There we go. Sorry for the interruption again. Alright, so we got that stuff. Well, can hack that. Open sesame. Alright, and you can turn off the uh, electric fences out there. No real reason to do that since you already have a way in and out without going through the fences, but why not? keep doing that. And see, they are gone. I think there may be a couple more auto mechanicals over here. Processing. Everyone all right? Makes some annoying noises. Another way into the facility. Yeah, in fact, let's go that way. Did I reload? I think I did. No, I did not. 
There was no sound for that. The control room should be ahead somewhere in a touch. <laughs> Not going through the uh, the stealthy route, as you can see. Any no. machine? And this is the other way we would have come in. Yeah, I thought that was a uh, solid thing the first time I came through here on my other character. Found out it wasn't. Uh, one. Uh, bar, uh, yeah, yeah. Chaos. Uh, okay. A little backstory there. Pause that and read it if you want. I should probably mention that I've been. Um, Kind of going through terminal entries pretty quick without really stopping okay, to read them. Um, I do apologize about that. I know some people like to hear that kind of thing. If it really bothers you, let me know and I'll try to um, uh, make an effort to do to actually read through them. But. Still got a little bit of a sneeze going on. It's kind of annoying. Oh, one bit of uh, advice for anybody just starting playing this game. If you're ever offered a, um, a flaw in exchange for a perk point, nine times out of ten, it's generally not going to be worth it. Something else I found out on my other playthrough. And there is no way to get rid of it, so... Didn't I already loot her? Yeah. I cannot believe I would have walked past and not looted her. Alright. Alright, let's hook up the correct quest. Uh, let's see. cannot resist opening locks. I kind of wanted to save my lock picks, but... Yeah. yeah. I'm a ways off from that, but there are other ways to go. So that's what we need. We can find a way in by going to this security officer's corpse. Yeah. 
Don't mess with us. Corpses that way. That's the last of them. Why do I feel you're not right? At least I got one of the picks I used back. Yep, I'm over encumbered. Let's see. Uh, sort by value. go there, but first, let's go up here. Ooh. That is really hard to pack. And I don't have his passcode, so, well, and that's the key card we need for the lock. Fun fact, that um, robot that I killed for Ludwig, the scout, if you fix him, he shows up here. That may be important later. Just kidding, I know it is. Kind of amazed I'm not, um, oh. I didn't even notice this when I was in here before. Four picks, though. Yeah. Wish I could do that. Okay, I was about to say I'm surprised I'm not over encumbered again, but now I am. All right, do I have any armor to break down? Yes. Do you need a helmet? 
Nope, same helmet already. Break that down though. done. Let's change the quest to Master Control Terminals up there. Let's go ahead and do that. Unfortunately, it's never that easy. Just checking back here make sure there's nothing hiding. We can't. Manual override required. Alright. It's odd. Last time she said something to me about that before I could get on the computer. Oh well. switch over here. It scared me. I thought that was mechanical at first. It's not really the sounds a mechanical makes, but... Oh, it only repairs the equipped stuff. If this is Parvati's, probably. <coughs> Sorry. Let's see. Already got one. Probably got one of those equipped too. I think actually I'm gonna hold on to the rest of this and sell it. I'm not gonna bother tinkering until I find weapons that I'm um, sure I'm gonna be using for a while. Can't go that way because of the steam. Mind the steam. Can I You're reach liable to get scalded. Was that? Yep. Almost missed the box. Actually, let's try out the other uh, shock weapon we have. It was using ammo, but it wasn't shooting. Or at least it didn't seem to. Ah, it has a very short range, that's why. Kind of like a flamethrower. Now I see. I think I will stick to my uh, assault rifle. Alright, 
this is what we needed. One to go. Two down, one to go. If we send the power to Miss McDevitt, what happens to the air? Nothing good, I'm sure. Did you just jump down? Shut off those steam valves. Time to go upstairs. Goes there. Okay. This goes back to the computer. Once we do this, there's no going back. Hey, mister? Look, I know you want your power regulator and all, but I just gotta ask you. Uh -huh. Do you understand what you're about to do? Hearing your opinion. I think it would be cool. I'm sorry. That just sort of came out all at once. Edwater's hurting. We've been losing workers year after year, and corporate hardly ever sends replacements. <coughs> There's barely enough saltuna to fill our bellies anymore. And it's but not even really saltuna. Decent, hardworking folk just living their lives the only way they know how. They don't deserve to be punished. Sorry, I didn't mean to babble up. One of these days I am going to play a playthrough where I am just a total jackass to everybody. Really? This is not that playthrough. And in that vein, I'm going to go with the third option, which is generally the best option for 
all parties involved. I can redirect power to um, Edgewater and then just convince the workers to come back. Adelaide will never come back as long as Reed is in power though. So the third option is redirecting power to Edgewater and then convincing Reed to step down and let Adelaide be in charge. Or I could redirect power to Adelaide and I'm not exactly sure what the consequences of that are. Kind of curious though. But I'll do that on another playthrough. Power back to Edgewater. Can I fast travel from here? Oh wait, I don't want to fast travel either. I've got to go somewhere else first. First I gotta, gotta get my bearings because I'm completely turned around right now. There we go. Completely forgot about going down here. No, 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 just leave me alone. Nope, not gonna do that. No, 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 just leave me alone. If I didn't agree the first time, why would you keep repeating it? Okay, dude. You're not real. You're not real. Get away from me. You can talk. The f see, see, Higgins. I'm doing this is again. why you must always dialogue. boil your Sorry. sprats before ingesting. Yeah, that's um, a good idea. Of course. Do excuse me. I experience brief flashes of mania during which I am visited by the phantoms of my imagination. Chester D. Higgins. The D stands for definitely not insane. I use it as a reminder. Uh huh. Now see, this would be my reaction in reality, but no. Oh, Higgins has been many things over the years. Sprat Wrangler, Saltuna Critic, Aetherwave Personality, Chairman of the Board, Galactic Defender, Sisty Pig Tycoon. I've come a long way for someone who started off as a simple engineer right here in this plant. You might want to remove your middle initial. I don't think the reminder's working. I specialized in auto mechanicals, drones, sentries. Repaired them, maintained, upgraded. Did it all from my old workroom just over in the next section. Look, I don't want to fall into any trouble with the mechanicals. If they wise up to our plans, they will come for us. With prodding irons. You know, you remind me of myself back when I was in the Galactic Adventurer. Well, what, what happened? Did you, you take a laser bolt to the knee? There's no changing that, but you could rewrite their targeting protocol so they attack each other instead. Yes, that's exactly it. I see you're also versed in the noble art of mechanical engineering. There's a behavior control terminal in the other room. It should have options to change how the mechanicals act, including whom they shoot at. Oh, nice. Uh, that reminds me. You'll need my passcode to access the behavior control terminal. Well, Here, need is a strong word. My hacking skill is not high enough, so I do kind of need it. But if I had more time... I'm encumbered by him. There's that. Okay. Well, let's get um, unencumbered enough to move. can move again. Now there is a vending machine. Oops. Go 
just swear there was a vending machine somewhere around here. Oh, there it is. Back on the top floor. All right. I gotta remember where that workshop was. about it I don't think it is but let's go through here anyway let's see if we can find it okay we're back here now is it this one yes. modify behavior select the target Find intruder. This other other auto mechanicals. Now I've already killed everything. I just like to do that just for uh, posterity. Uh, let's see. The vendor was on the very top floor. And it was this way, I think. just bought all that stuff and I'm selling it. I'm an idiot. And I've decided I'm just not going to worry about um, any of the consumables other than Adreno, so I'm just going to sell everything. Brings me down to 46 out of 90. That should be good enough for now. Back to outside. Adelaide's over there, so let's go talk to her. And let's do it by fast traveling because, you know, who wants to run all that way? huddled around the fire because there's no more power. And she's down here where the power regulator is. That's the thing about growing old. Your eyes start to fail. Elsewise, I would have seen you for the snake that you are. Chopped you into pieces and roasted you on a spit. This is all you're doing. Cutting off my power. Killing off my garden. Without refrigeration, my food will spoil. And my flock will starve. I want to ask you this in private, away from the eyes of my flock, so they do not see me lose my temper. Tell me, why did you do it? You want my flock wasting their lives in that cannery? Fine. Go and talk to them. Go talk to Grace and Thomas. Look them in the eye and tell them their life here is over, and the only thing left to do is go back to Edgewater. This is now your responsibility. <coughs> you tell Reed Thompson that I will never return to Edgewater. I would rather die among my flowers than live under his management. Well, there is a third option. You offering to cross Reed off, huh? This some sort of twisted yeah. reparation for what you've done? Kill him, or I could just talk him into leaving. Or are you just looking for a chance to sow some chaos? 
Kill Reed if you must, or talk him into leaving if you can. He and I are not sharing the same four walls together. Tell Reed that I can make his people healthy again. I can end their plague. Start a new garden right in the cannery. Three square meals for every man and woman in Edgewater. Tell him how I've made the veil bloom again. The soil has whispered its secrets to me, and I alone know how to breathe life back into the earth. The secret is human corpses. I've been grinding them up in my fertilizer for years. Marauder, worker, don't matter much to me. The human body is rich with nutrients. Mm, whatever works. I have got a means to cure the plague, and I will not share that cure until Reed leaves town. Those are my terms. My son worked in that cannery. When the plague started coming, he was one of the first to fall sick. We had a store of medicine locked away, but Reed refused to treat him. Said my boy didn't deserve treatment. Said the medicine would have been wasted on him. So I buried my boy in the cemetery, gathered my belongings, and left. That's as much of the story as you need to hear. Cool. Uh, if you don't mind, though, I'm just gonna take that. Oops, missed the stairs. All right. Thomas, good news. Everybody keeps staring at. Oh, sorry. It's not my fault. The power's dead. Gotcha. I got another one of those data no pads. No kidding. Really? Well, which one? Part two. Ain't that just ironical? If I'd worked a little longer back at the cannery, I might have found this myself. Two whole data pads? Be still, my beating heart. Oh, almost forgot your payment. Got more. Well, don't keep me in suspense. The geothermal plant? Now that is just incredible! You really went exploring down there? Adelaide always told us it was swarming with hostile mechanicals. She was not wrong. That's a complete set. All three parts! I'm gonna be the greatest engineer Halcyon's ever seen. Um, aside from you, Ms. Parvati, I swear, I'll do you proud. I'm glad we could help, Thomas. I've been saving something for you. Uh, just a little contraption I found. Should fit right into your outfit. Alright. Now you could talk to them about uh, uh, going back to Edgewater now, but we'll be coming back here after we take care of Reed anyway, so... Now, like I said, you can talk him into stepping down. However, <clears throat> this time I think I'm actually going to uh, just kill him. Mostly because I want to see what it's like. What the repercussions of that are. But in the meantime, let's level up first. Five points there gets us to the next uh, thing for that. But where to put the rest of it? I think you're in here, so that way I can get these up to the next rank. There we go. Third jug, jug mixer slot that I'm not going to be using. Uh, tinkering cost, 50% less. Nice. And break down weapons and armor for 20% chance to, to extract a basic mod. Nice. Alright. That looks like a good spread. Uh, did I get a perk? No, I didn't.
Let us go deal with Mr. Reed Thompson. Is it Thompson? I think it is. Thompson. to quick save just in case this goes horribly wrong this is a fine day friend power flows through our town like a cool stream of water I trust Adelaide's people have seen their way to reason so when can I expect them back at their posts day after you die then we are at an impasse Stewardship over this town has been entrusted to me by Spacer's choice. I am not perfect. I have made my share of mistakes. But I have done my best for this town. I am a Spacer's choice man. My father was a Spacer's choice man. Edgewater may not look like much to some buttoned up freelancer. But it is my home. Now see, we go with this option if um, we wanted to talk him down, but like I said, I'm trying something different with this playthrough, so... Are you out of your mind? You just... you just killed him! Mr. Thompson! Reed Thompson, you know, my boss? I can't. I need to leave. I need to get away from here. I need to get away from you. You killed Mr. Thompson for talking down his nose at me? You got a real twisted sense of chivalry, you know that? Let's just... Let's just move on. I couldn't forgive myself if I let you loose upon the veil unsupervised. Okay, so... I was worried I was actually going to lose her as a companion over that. So what do you got back here? Nice. to loot. You Let's check this drawer. Interesting. Oops, that was another message. Okay. See how the rest of the town uh, feels. Just in case. Hi. You're safer inside the walls. No, well, Mr. Thompson wasn't. Just saying. Let's go turn that in. Uh, where was the constable? There's 
a general I store. If the ever pop. Oops, and there goes my timer. Still, let's turn in these uh, fingers first. Yep. Barber, Cantina, Constable. There we go. Wish we had some better rations. Something to report? We pay by the finger. What do you have for me? I can give you a finger. Gil Antrim. Real name, Guillaume. Duly processed by a freelancer on behalf of Spacer's Choice. I remember him. I was just a kid last I saw him. Shame. I'll just need your signature here, 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 and here. Got any more fingers for me? Mabel Burgess. Age 37. Right or left-handed? Let's just say, no longer applicable. Sounds I remember good. Doc Burgess. Conducted my physical every fiscal quarter. Guess she couldn't keep her hands off her patient's medicine. Still one outstanding bounty. If you've got a finger, I've got the paperwork. Here we are. Birdie Cotton. Cause of death. Let's just say overwhelming physical trauma. Sounds Bert was right. the local preacher before Max took over. Always was quick to remind us that we all get what we deserve in the end. Well, that's all three. I must remember to requisition some more fingerprint to ink. Here's all the compensation you've earned, plus a bonus. You've done such a bang-up job hunting down our former workers that I thought it only proper to deputize you. Congratulations. Nice. Let me stop you there. It is official Spacer's Choice policy that all Marauders, regardless of prior affiliation to the Spacer's Choice brand, no longer qualify as our people. Okay. I gotta ask. Something else I can do for you? Nope. That is it. Wish we had some better rations. Nothing I can do about that. Nope, you can take these down. I'm done. All right. <clears throat> um. Actually, we'll finish off the episode by going back to uh, Adelaide. dark down here. Oh wait, you don't have any power. That's right. Look at that. The snakes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have a peculiar comfort with violence. Killing off my garden. Gunning down Reed Thompson. Suppose it's time our flock made our way back to Edgewater. We must tend to what remains of the town and carry on with our lives as best we may. You're vexing to me, you know? Injuring us with one hand, helping us with the other. Here, I'm giving you something to leave us be. It's a ransom, you understand, not a reward. You're telling me you did all this just to put me in charge of Edgewater? Stranger, you are some kind of twisted. I might turn that old cannery into a garden. Got ourselves a whole cemetery bursting with bodies. I need some time to gather my personals. Long walk back to Edgewater. Got a considerable burden to carry. Oh, have fun with that. I uh, don't think I really need to talk to anybody we else. <coughs> So, let me save my game. Not over that one, but that one. Yeah, that's my other save. See, he's a little bit further ahead. Oh. Alright. Thank you for joining me. I will see you in the next one.